can't hit me. So what? Or what, anything like that. What's next on the list? Oh. You, and you, you came down to LA. When when we originally started to do this, we were saying, yeah, we got to get you in the studio. And I thought, oh, that's never going to happen. He's never going to come down. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, but, and your, your trip to LA, what's next on well, your list? I got to go get my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Get to LA. That's pretty typical. Get to LA, lose your wallet. You have to go get your identity back. Yeah, and then I gotta go. I'm going to see an entertainment lawyer and then uh, an agent in Beverly Hills. Enter entertainment lawyers in Wilsh on Wilshire Boulevard and, uh, and uh, um, the um, the agent is on Beverly in Beverly Hills, and then um, and then. Uh, what else? I'm not sure exactly. I'm, I'm going there with uh, Sam Macaron. He's the guy who shot um, the uh, Finding Finding the Rainbow guy, or I guess that's what it's called. He's he he uh, shot some footage and uh, he's putting some. He put it together a video and I put it on my uh, profile page on my YouTube page and uh, it came out pretty good. And he's got some other footage and we're, he's going to put together some more videos and be posting them uh, anyway he's a really cool guy and, uh, and I'm gonna be hanging out with him for for a little while and then tomorrow I'm shooting Tosh.0 what's what's Tosh.0? Tosh.0 is some comedy show on Comedy Central um, I guess he I don't know, does a lot of stuff with videos viral videos and then Thursday I'm doing Jimmy Kimmel that's the cool thing yeah. But I was going to ask you before we get to that. You mentioned that you and your kids, all three of you, are, may do something special. What would that be? I mean, if you, what does doing something special mean to you? What well, my 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 children are Yosemite Indians. Um, right now, we're rebuilding the the roundhouse in the in the new or the old Yosemite Indian village, which is. The Indian village where my children's grandmother was was born, and they burned it down, so they're rebuilding that village. It's they um, they burned that village down, um, and they've burned it down several times. But um, I guess recently, the most recent time they burned it down was in the '70s, and I have a a guy who witnessed that, and there's a video of that him uh, recount recounting that on my YouTube page, but. Um, so then they rebuilt it in the in the in Yosemite Village, behind the visitor center. It's kind of like oh, this is what the Yosemite Indians used to, you know, what their life was like. And then and then they started using it for ceremonies because that they didn't have any other place. And so you know, after a while, we're like, well, this isn't really our serum. This isn't really our village. We want our village back. So it's been like twenty years coming but now we're real we're starting to rebuild this village in so it's like the new Indian village but it's really in the old Indian village so um, so that's um, uh, that's one of the things that's special it's, uh, it's so it's in the valley it's in the valley it's um, um, it, it's uh, it's a power it's a power center um, um, what you know i i see that um yosemite is going to be a um, lot more important right now it's just like a you know it's a national park it's beautiful but i lots think it's going to go there lots of people there tourists. but i think it's going to be more important in the scheme of um, humanity in general it's it's going to it's going to play a more specific, a more important role and I think our family is going to have a a more uh, a leading a leading role in that in that thing because my daughter she's she went to school and got a degree in environmental studies and economics she's been all over the world traveling and getting getting medicine uh, um, to um, you know to to work on this you know and um, my my land is gonna is a healing center. Uh, we're we're putting all this together. I, I you know I don't know all the answers yet, but I see all these things coming together. I see all our fa my my family playing a part in this. So um, you know what's really cool is you can walk around the valley uh, in Yosemite, 
and they'll have little signs about you know Native Americans. And last time I was walking through there and stopped to look, I'm like, "Hey, that's Irene, my niece. She was on the poster on or one of the posts of talking about the Native Americans." Oh, very cool. So it must have been after a, a sweat or a, a gathering of some sort. Right. Because at, at one point, I mean, as we grow and, and see the importance of other things, our, our idea of what's important changes. At one time, uh, probably like me, I mean, I wanted to be Ari. I used to represent a lot of comics. <laughs> and uh, you thought that lifestyle might be cool at one point, right? Well, my son, you know, he wanted to... He wanted. He has um, a lot of talent with singing and acting and all that kind of stuff. So we we came down here and we pursued that stuff, and um, that's how we that's how we stumbled on Jimmy Kimmel. But the um, first time, yeah, you got onto Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. The camera turned to you because you were wearing a shirt that said Jimmy's boyfriend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's Jim how you got to do it. Acknowledged yeah. you too. My boyfriend's in the audience today. <laughs> right, right. So, so yeah, we you know we we considered you know something like that. I mean, you know, we weren't sure, but we got on. So you think you could dance and uh, Jimmy Kimmel? So. Um, it's very know. cool. Yeah. But now that you're going to help put the, uh, or help the Native Americans uh, get some of their culture back. Basically. Yeah, that's, that's you know, one of the things we're, we're working on. But, I, you know, I think that's, um, I think that's probably, mm, like, a central thing where people are going to draw towards that. That's going to be... Um, that's going to be a central gathering point. People are going to be drawn towards that. Um, so, um, what I'm thinking is that um, people are going to be attracted to that way of living, and that way of living is going to be um, a better way to live. And so, um, uh, I think it's going to be more important because the way people live now, it's it's not it's not sustainable. And so the old ways are going to be um, um, a, a better way to to live realistically. Well, they they have to be. I mean, you have to be somewhat prepared because right now we're so dependent on technology and right. all of these things. I mean, if the lights go out, the kids at McDonald's can't count change. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, they really can't. Right. Right. They freak out. <laughs> I don't know, sir. <laughs> it was Eighty-five cents, and you gave me a dollar. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Machines are broken. Yeah, we can't have you. Yeah, and they they don't know. If you depend on technology, it goes away. And uh, Obama's looking for the uh, the button to stop the internet. You know, just interrupt that. I don't know how he's going to do it, but you know, if you stop that because of th some cyber threat or whatever, the cyber terrorism, whatever that the case may be, then you know we're done. Wow. Cell phones and everything else. And if they could, the government has that much control over everything. And knows what you're doing, and, and I, I just don't like it. So I would much rather live in a. Uh, I mean, that's just the internet. What if electricity shut off? You know, yeah. and, and what if it shut off for a, a while? Yeah. Like months. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, how would I blow dry my hair? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm being yeah, so people don't sure. people don't realize no, they, what what it would be like if electricity shut off on a massive scale for months. People be in LA. People be stealing electric guitars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I put this question to you know some people, and they're like, "Oh, it would be inconvenient because I wouldn't have any lights." But they don't understand how their whole existence depends on this type of thing. They would not be able to eat. They would not be able to drink. And most people here only have their next meal. You know, they would perish in just a few days. You know, people would be eating each other really quick, and there would be mass chaos. There would be a massive die-off. Yeah, I remember when you initially were telling me, you know, get be as prepared as you can, Angel. And I'm like, what? Well, you know, water's always come out of the faucet. Electricity is always. I've always been. It's always just been there. And then you said, no one thought that could. You know. Katrina could happen. Look what happened there. You know, people were turning in on each other. and Yeah, people, I mean, 